Thank you for praying for our mother, Uncle Francis. It's only because of your prayers that our mother got cured. All glory to God. Uncle Francis, can you please tell us the full story of St. Peter? Yes, Uncle. Please tell us. All right, children. I will tell you the rest of the story. Well, I think I told you how Peter declared Jesus as the Son of God, didn't I? Yes. After spending three years with Jesus, what Peter feared was close at hand. The time for the master to leave them was near. But Jesus promised Peter and the other disciples that when he goes back to the Father, he will send down the Helper, the Holy Spirit. But Peter was still scared of losing Jesus because he loved him very much. It was time for the Jewish feast of the Passover. Jesus arranged to have supper with his apostles. But before that, he washed the feet of his apostles. Lord, are you going to wash my feet? You do not know now what I'm doing, but you will understand it later. No, Lord, I will not let you wash my feet. Unless I wash you, you have no share with me, Peter. Lord, but why only my feet? It's because the body of the one who has taken his bath is clean, except for the feet. After the Passover, Jesus took his disciples and went to Mount Olives for praying. As they climbed the mountain, Jesus told them, All of you will desert me. Huh? Lord, please don't speak that way. Even if everyone else deserts you, I never will. Peter, the truth is, this very night, before the roaster crows twice, you will deny knowing me three times. No, never. I will never deny you. It's all right. Now stay here and wait for me. Jesus started to pray, and as he did so, the disciples went to sleep. But when Jesus came back, he saw them sleeping. Simon. Huh? Huh? Couldn't you stay awake and watch with me even one hour? Keep alert and pray. Otherwise, temptation will overpower you. I'm sorry, my Lord. Then Jesus left them again and prayed. When he came back to his disciples, he found them sleeping again. He woke them up again, and it happened for the third time as well. <laughs> huh? Sorry, Uncle. We just remembered how we always fall asleep at prayer time. But we are always wide awake when we are watching TV. Please continue, Uncle. I'm sorry for interrupting. All right. And then, a group of soldiers came to the mountain for arresting Jesus. It was Judas who was leading the soldiers. Master, you must hide, quick! There he is! Arrest him! No. Peter, put your sword back into the shade. Take me, but leave the others. We got him at last! Now we will see what he can do. Tie him up! Jesus was arrested and then taken to the priests for the trial. In the meantime, Peter followed Jesus and reached the town. Hey you! I know you! You were also with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. Huh? What? I don't understand what you're talking about! Huh? Peter was relieved that she didn't recognize him. He left that place and started walking. Everyone look! This man is one of them! You, you stupid woman! I told you once, I do not know the man, I swear it! Surely, you are one of the followers of Jesus. Your accent gives you away. I swear, I do not know this man you are talking about. When Peter heard the cock crowing for the third time, 
he remembered the words Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. He went outside and wept bitterly. No! <laughs> Uncle Francis, but why did Peter deny Jesus? Didn't he love Jesus? Don't we all do it too? Jesus is alive and he loves each one of us. But every time we see evil things happening around and keep quiet about it, we are in a way denying Jesus. Maybe because we are weak. You are so right, Jim. Peter's denial was also based on human weakness. That is the reason Jesus wanted them to stay awake and pray with him in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, Jesus did tell Peter to keep alert and pray, but he didn't listen, did he? But uncle, why did God allow Peter to be tempted this way? That is because Jesus believed in Peter. He knew that one day he would become a pillar of his holy church and strengthen others. Remember this, God's power is made perfect in weakness. Did Peter become a courageous person later? Hmm, listen and you will be amazed. After Jesus died and was buried, the disciples were scared and huddled together in a house. Jesus had said that he will rise again, but the disciples had not understood what he meant. Even Peter didn't believe. And on the third day, Jesus appeared to the disciples who were gathered in a room. Peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Peter now believed that Jesus had indeed been raised from the dead. After appearing to them on many occasions and spending time with them, it was finally time for Jesus to ascend back to the Father. Go into all world and preach the good news to everyone, everywhere. Don't worry. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power and you will tell about me even to the ends of the world. Peter was still not as solid as a rock. However, he had now matured enough to know the power of prayer. So along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, his other disciples and followers, Peter spent many days in prayer. Then one day, the first glimpses of Peter's leadership were seen. Now we must choose another man to take Judah's place. O oh Lord, you know every heart. Show us which of these men you have chosen to replace Judas. So children, you see, Peter was slowly being transformed by the power of prayer. In fact, Peter sets a good example by showing them that before making any decision, they need to consult God in prayer. Wow, what a change in Peter. Yes, indeed, Peter was so filled with the Holy Spirit that when he spoke, his words touched the people gathered there. Peter was able to add many more people to the church. The disciples then set out preaching the word of God. Now I will tell you about this wonderful miracle that Peter performed at the gate of the temple, known as the Beautiful Gate, in the form of a song. Kind sirs, please give me some alms. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He asked for alms and held out his palms. And this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, give I you. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, in Jesus' name, rise up and walk. I praise you, God. The man went walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, in Jesus' name, rise up and walk. <laughs> wow, that was wonderful, Uncle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was a good song, sir. Thank you, madam. Thanks for teaching the kids about the Bible. It's always a pleasure, madam. Here you go, you two. Thanks, mom. I'll see you later, sir. Got some work in the kitchen. See you later. 
Peter must have been beaming with pride by now. No, not Peter. He used this opportunity to proclaim Jesus and not himself. When people saw what happened, they ran toward Peter and John. They were amazed at the miracle that had just happened. People of Israel, what is so surprising about this? And why look at us? It looks as though we have made this man walk by our own power. It was Jesus who healed this man. And you know how lame he was before. All praises to God. All glory to Jesus Christ. Friends, our Savior Jesus was tortured and crucified on the cross. Turn to God at least now so that you can be cleansed of your sins. We need to arrest him. Huh? What's happening? Stand still. Why? Why are you arresting me? Now we will see who will rescue you. <laughs> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.